So Jared Fogle of Subway fame has been fired as their spokesperson after getting raided for child porn. He brought a lot of good ideas to the table as far as marketing is concerned. Like this, fresh fit for kids. Except he wanted to call it tight fit for kids and he wanted to put his six inch roast beef in there. Yeah, the buns he was looking at were a little bit too fresh. So Bill Cosby is back in the news again after some nosy reporter turned up some court documents where he confessed to giving quaaludes to girls uh, for sex. I don't know what they're worried about now. It's not like quaaludes exist anymore. What pisses me off is these people saying, Cancel the Cosby Show! Cancel the Cosby Show! You fucking mongoloid pieces of shit! Do you not realize that the royalties he gets are chump change to him? And the other actors that were on there, you know, they haven't done anything since. Raven Simone blew all her money on food. They depend on these royalties. Can't we just overlook Bill Cosby and, you know, remember Dr. Huxtable, that funny guy from TV back in the 90s that I grew up watching? I'm sure most of the allegations are true, except Lou Ferrigno's wife. That was a little bit fishy. She goes backstage, he hands her a pill, says, take this, and she does. I mean, she thinks it's an aspirin and take it just because she thinks she might get a headache later? I mean, I guess she might as well take an aspirin. I mean, why endure the headache? It's not like, you know, saying, sorry, Bill, I have a headache is gonna, it's gonna work. It's not really a valid excuse for him. And that was in the 70s. In the 80s, she went back to his house. If I got raped, you couldn't pay me to go back to my rapist's house. Okay, yeah, you could. But I wouldn't be alone in the same room with said rapist. Which she was. She was playing pool with him after his wife went to bed. And she was married. You know, that's highly inappropriate as it is. So, I think she just had an affair with him. And played the rape card later. I know, I know. I'm gonna get crucified in the comments. And they cancelled the Dukes of Hazard as well. The reruns anyway. Because of the Confederate flag. Can someone explain this one to me? I used to watch that show as a kid. Mainly for Daisy. Now I'm not the type to hang a Confederate flag in my yard, but if people want to, let them. The South lost. Let them have a little bit of a consolation prize. Throw them a bone. The Civil War was not even about slavery. They wanted to secede from the North. Sort of like Texas, both times Obama was elected. I don't even care about the flag, but what I do care about is keeping censorship from overrunning this country, and that is the point we are headed to. Well, if you like my shit, please subscribe. Adios.